that protest, I felt it, you know, I, uh, I, it hit me. And then my truth supersedes your truth and you must submit to my truth. And even Republican pollsters and strategists say it could be devastating for DeSantis and her. Now that video is no longer here. It's been replaced with this screenshot. Why? But you know what? I, I, uh, I gotta admit guys, um, Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. Oh, sorry about that. I, uh, man, I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. I was, I was up all night laughing. DeSantis cracks joke as far left activists storm stage at New Hampshire event. <laughs> now this was hilarious. Why? I'm going to show you. All right, let's watch it. Hey, I just want to say real quick, we got some of our new merch out right now. This is one of my favorite shirts, Read the Bible. If you want to support this channel, you can check out the link below. It says shop our merch. Hey, would you mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community with us? I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, you know, when you like this video, YouTube will push it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. Governor races, President races, 2010, 12, 14, 16, 18, yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> Jews against the Jews against the Whoa. You gotta have a little spice in the speech, right? I mean, you gotta have a little fun. <laughs> Why you'd want to pay the ticket to get in just to do that, I don't know, but different strokes for different folks. <laughs> I love it. I love Ron DeSantis' little quips. Uh, the way that he's able to joke back and not give in to this kind of stuff. You know, he's able to just give it right back and duck off a water's back kind of thing. Talker, uh, uh, yeah. But you know what? I I uh I gotta admit, guys. Um, that protest, I felt it. You know, I uh I it hit me right here. It got me right here, and um, I think I'm going to change. I'm going to change my my biblical principles, my outlook on life, the stand, I'm, truth. I'm going to change truth. Uh, it it just spoke to me, you know. It, that was the one. That was the one. Now, why are they doing this? For one, the left has an insatiable appetite to protest and to make their presence known at anything and everything that deals with truth. Or, they, you know, they try to destroy everybody that has any type of morality whatsoever. You know, it's all about changing the truth into individual truth. Whatever my truth is, is the real truth. Whatever your truth is, is the real truth. Uh, unless your truth impedes on my truth, then your truth isn't truth anymore. It's bad. And then my truth supersedes your truth, and you must submit to my truth, even though everybody's individual truth is the real truth, but it it's not the real truth if it interferes with the... the, the... Now, this is all happening to DeSantis because well, DeSantis has actually had a backbone. Do you remember what those are? DeSantis has actually stood for truth, for morality. And he hasn't backed down on that. And that's a rarity in our society today, especially within our government. It is such a rarity to see somebody that holds a government position actually have a backbone. You know, DeSantis has done things like sign the six-week abhorrent ban and he's, he's standing on that. But check out this ridiculous article. Uh, it, you know, it's this type of mindset that really, uh, that I can't stand. And it's, it, it's one of the biggest issues we have going today is stories like this. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' decision to sign a six-week abhorrent ban isn't the first time he's moved to the right of Trump. To the... Okay. <laughs> Okay, but it could be the riskiest. 
Why? And even Republican pollsters and strategists say it could be devastating for DeSantis in a general election because whether he likes it or not, the six-week ban is now his. So now you even have these Republican pollsters, these conservatives saying, well, DeSantis has taken this a little too far, whether he likes it or not. Protecting children in the womb is now his problem. He's going to have to carry that weight. What? Since when is standing... (laughs) Since when is standing on protecting life? Since when is that a weight that conservatives must carry and try to convince people? No. Stop this nonsense. It's We're standing on truth. Whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter whether you like it or not. I'm going to stand on truth. I'm going to stand for life. The fact that we're even having this discussion is ridiculous. That you have to think twice about being, about standing on your principles now because, well, that doesn't look so good. Think about this for a second. They're trying to say here, standing on your principles is, that doesn't look so good. You should maybe think twice about that. DeSantis puts woke colleges on notice, tells them to hand over diversity receipts. Now, one thing that I've said on my channel forever is public schools, these universities that we're shipping our children off to just to be spiritually slaughtered, DeSantis is standing up He actually has a backbone to stand up against these what colleges that are trying to indoctrinate and completely destroy, spiritually that is, our children, the the youngest of us, the next generation. You know, DeSantis has shown that he's standing against that. And then you check out NHL reverses course on discriminatory job fair after DeSantis warns it won't be tolerated. Now, this was when the NHL decided that it was only going to hire people that were female, black, Asian, Islander, Hispanic, indigenous, LGB. Basically, we're not going to hire you if you're white. And of course, with all this woke Disney stuff going on, trying to destroy the minds of our children, DeSantis fought back. And he's actually fighting, to this day, fighting against Disney and trying to protect our children, the minds of our children. And then, of course, Florida wants to restrict sexuality and gender identity discussions through the 12th grade. So basically, they want to protect our children from this indoctrination going on within our schools today. That They're trying to destroy our children from the youngest possible age they can. Now, you have this article as well, and this is really interesting. Check this out. Protesters descend on Florida Capitol criticizing DeSantis. Now, I showed this article in a video I did recently. And when you scroll down here, there was a video that played here showing protesters that were protesting Ron DeSantis' new bill that says you can't mutilate children. Yeah, there actually has to be a law put into place that says you can't mutilate children. But there was a video here of protesters saying some of the dumbest things you've ever heard. Now that video is no longer here been replaced with this screenshot. Why? Now, thankfully, in my video, I recorded what those protesters said. We are in the legislature where the Republicans have hijacked the word liberation. They have hijacked the word freedom. We are to resist their transphobic slate of hate legislation. You are erasing our trans babies. Now, it's hilarious to me that these protesters want to say that Republicans hijacked freedom when they're the ones that are literally trying to stop you from thinking differently than them. If you think differently, you should be erased. (laughs) The, the, The irony is just incredible. Now, notice the words they use. They're trying to get rid of our twins babies. Now, you notice they're trying to indoctrinate children from the earliest ages they can. 
This is all about them even trying to get to babies to try to imprint this this insanity, this depravity in their minds from the earliest ages they can. That way they can have the most control over them as they grow. They're trying to literally create the next generation of zombies to come in and just do their bidding, do their will, complete in utter destruction. But like Biden said, it's just downright sinful to protect children. And transgender kids is a really harder to thing. What's going on in Florida is, as my mother would say, close to sinful. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community, I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And also hit that thumbs up button if you wouldn't mind. You know when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread this message. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.